Ever since the Uvalde school shooting, Congress has been working hard to craft sensible gun safety measures that can be narrowly defeated at the last minute. But a lot of people are trying to make this time different. I mean, just today, Matthew McConaughey, who's from Uvalde, was at the White House pushing for reforms. Unfortunately, though, nobody really expects a lot to change. Now, that's where there is an upside to living in the states that barely put up with each other of America, right? And that is individual states can break off and pass their own gun laws, which is exactly what's happening right here in New York. New York bolstered its already tough gun laws, some of the strictest in the nation. Governor Hochul signed a package of gun reform bills yesterday. Now, among them, a measure that bans the sale of semi-automatic rifles to anybody under 21. New buyers are also required to obtain a permit. Also, red flag laws are expanding. Body armor for civilians is outlawed, and ammo for semi-automatic handguns is required to be micro-stamped to make it easier to trace. Hochul celebrated the new laws in the Bronx. It just keeps happening. Shots ring out, flags come down, and nothing ever changes, except here in New York. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is... This is so weird. A mass shooting happened, and then politicians did something. I didn't even know that that was possible. <laughs> yeah, it's like I showed up to McDonald's and the McFlurry machine is working. It's just... <laughs> I don't even know how to react to this. Do, do I clap? Am I supposed to tip? What's a good tip for passing gun law? 10%? I'm sure it's 10%. <laughs> you know what this feels like? This feels like when you're ready to argue with your partner and before you can say anything, they just apologize, <laughs> right? Yeah, now you've got a throat full of screams and nothing to do with it. It's like, thank you, I appreciate your apology. I love you too. And New York made a lot of changes. For instance, it's raising the minimum age on semi-automatic rifles, which seems like common sense to me, you know? Although, in my opinion, instead of 21, I feel like it should be 21 and four days. Yeah, because I don't want someone buying a gun on the same night that they're slamming 10 shots of Jaeger. Just spread it out, <laughs> you know? <laughs> New York is also gonna be banning body armor, and that makes sense. Right? In fact, this is the first state in the country to do it, which is a great idea. In fact, they should also ban Under Armour while they're at it. <laughs> yeah, it's not about the shootings. I'm just tired of seeing people's nipples on the train, you know? <laughs> I get it, you work out. <laughs> yes, and I know, I know some people are saying, but wait, I'm not a shooter. I just want body armor for my protection. Don't worry. You don't need body armor, right? If you're not doing anything in the ferries, you don't need body armor. Yeah. <laughs> If there's something I've learned from American movies, it's that you just need to keep a precious family heirloom on your body. That stops any bullets. <laughs> any time, it's like, bah, ah, oh, thank God, my mom's Bible stopped the bullets. <laughs> okay. Bah, oh, oh, thank goodness, my grandpa's pocket watch saved me. <laughs> bah, oh, thank God, I carry grandma's cherished dildo with me all the time. <laughs> saved my life once again. Thank you, grandma. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm just gonna let that soak in for a second. 